In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, when I come, came to you, brothers, it was not without any show of oratory or philosophy, but simply to tell you what God had guaranteed. During my stay with you, the only knowledge I claimed to have was about Jesus, and only about him as the crucified Christ. Far from relying on any power of my own, I came among you in great fear and trembling, and in my speeches 
and the servants that I gave, there were none of the arguments that belonged to philosophy, only a demonstration of the power of the Spirit. And I did this so that your faith should not depend on human philosophy, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, how I love your law. Lord, how I love your law. Lord, how I love your law. It is ever in my mind. Your command makes me wiser than my foes, for it is mine forever. Lord, how I love your law. I have more insight than all who teach me, for I ponder your will. I have more understanding than the old, for I keep your precepts. Lord, how I love your law. I turn my feet from evil paths to obey your word. I have not turned from your decrees. You yourself have taught me. Lord, how I love your law. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Anyone who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, as he usually did. He stood up to read, and they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. And rolling the scroll, he found the place where it is written, The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, and to the blind new sight, to set the downtrodden free, to proclaim the Lord's year of favour. He then rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the assistant, and sat down. And all eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to speak to them. This text is being fulfilled today, even as you listen. And he won the approval of all. And they were astonished by the gracious words that came from his lips. They said, This is Joseph's son, sure. But he replied, No doubt you will quote me the saying, Physician, heal yourself. And tell me, we have heard all that happened in Capernaum. Do the same here in your own countryside. And he went on, I tell you solemnly, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel, I can assure you, in Elijah's day, when heaven remained shut for three years and six months, and a great famine raged throughout the land. But Elijah was not sent to any of these. He was sent to a widow at Zarephath, a Sidonian town. And in the prophet Elisha's time, there were many lepers in Israel, but none of these was cured except the Syrian, Naaman. When they heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town. And they took him up to the brow of the hill their town was built on, intending to throw him down the cliff. But he slept, slipped through the crowd and walked away. The Gospel of the Lord. It seems as if the people of Nazareth welcomed Jesus quite openly on his return after the events in Capernaum and Cana and the, wed the wedding where the water was turned into wine. They wanted to see this local lad and hear what he had to say. And at first they opened their ears and they were pleased at the words that he was saying. However, their welcome turns very quickly to hatred as we hear in today's Gospel. This is Joseph's son, surely, they replied. They couldn't see the goodness 
that was st standing in front of them. They were caught up rather than their knowledge of Jesus and his background. And they couldn't see that he was destined for greater things. They rejected his message. Sometimes when we get good advice, sometimes we look at the person giving it, and sometimes we make a judgment rather than listening to that advice. It's always important that we trust that God speaks to us in many ways. And God speaks to us and sometimes people that maybe we would not expect. Jesus would go on to continue his ministry and indeed the people of Nazareth were always, I'm sure, loved in his heart. So let us turn to the Lord with our prayers of intercession this day. We pray for the Church, for Francis our Pope, Declan our Bishop, and all of God's holy people. That our ears may always be open to the words of Christ, and that we may act His command to love one another in our lives. Lord, in your mercy. Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, O God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, through to the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessings of salvation, that what it celebrates in history it may accomplish in power through Christ. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. In Jesus you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his force. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with the angels and archangels, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed, Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy death and these gifts we pray, ascending down your spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for them, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How we we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Martin Griffin, for whom we offer this mass. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, who spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Love God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Love God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Love God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. That you should enter the Lamb. It's only
for those who are still unable to join us in Mass, for those joining us via the live stream on YouTube, we pray an act of spiritual communion, Lord. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many count at this moment to receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as if we were there already, and unite ourselves fully to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, the being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir in us to serve you in our name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is in. Before I uh, go over this day, I just want to say farewell to Susanna, who is leaving us for uh, a new life uh, far away. Not that far away, but uh, we wish you all the very best. And be sure of our prayers, and we'll welcome you back whenever you can. Well done. Have a good day. <laughs>